embracing the simple joys day 2 of the lazy grasshopper adventure started with an early sunrise capture accompanied by a thoughtful cup of coffee from Aisha today holds a trove of experiences as the day unfolds i will be revealing delicious flavors and tasty experiences that will leave you all smiling the farm stay cottages are built around simplicity and sustainability with an emphasis on eco-friendly construction for instance the walls and foundation utilize either granite boulders found on the farm itself or porotum terracotta blocks the spaces are simple rustic offer generous verandas and blend into the ethos of an uncluttered rural landscape Watching the cow getting milked is a beautiful scene bringing back the lively memories of my grandparents place. I remember the cows happily running around munching on hay. Simple snapshots that make me smile. Aisha and Param's kitchen is a lively scene in the mornings. the sounds of sizzling sausages and the cheerful chaos of breakfast making it's a simple lively scene of family where a tasty omelet is taking shape and the kitchen is alive with the delicious promise of a shared morning meal breakfast is over and now param is getting ready to cook up a special dish so i am here with param the owner of Lazy Grasshopper Farm. So, Param, what are we cooking today? What's special? We're making a biryani that is kind of a Hyderabadi, but it's our own take. Okay. So, uh, I know it looks complicated, but it's kind of simplified so that it's it's not something which is esoteric. It's not some crazy. So, this thing. is your special biryani. So, the biryani that people like. Okay. So, uh, essentially. the magic is in the marination itself okay and that's the chicken we have already scored it and kept it here right right that's when the masala goes in okay and all these are masalas we will be grinding in a grinder jar add two star anise one small mace one and a half teaspoon jeera one and a half teaspoon shahi jeera two teaspoon som three teaspoon poppy seeds two bay leaves 20 cardamoms a dozen clove 4 inch cinnamon grind all this together to fine powder so you can uh, put about 5 teaspoons in okay. to spread it down 3 tablespoons yeah that's what it is it's measured and kept 3 4 teaspoon turmeric 2 tablespoon chili powder 5 tablespoon thick curd just mix it up now that the mixing is done yeah put this away for about 8 hours okay uh in the fridge okay and then we take it out and cook in a bowl add soaked basmati rice ratio is 3 is to 5 add 2 star anise 1 teaspoon black pepper corns 2 bay leaves 2 teaspoon shahi jeera 1 teaspoon jeera 6 cloves 3 inch cinnamon salt cook by absorption method in a rice cooker or covered vessel add 2 tablespoon of ghee and cook Fluff up the rice and gently with a fork and set aside. Add saffron to 2 tablespoon of milk and set aside. 
Heat up 2 tablespoons of oil and 1 tablespoon ghee in a thick bottom vessel. Fry the cashew nuts, raisins and set aside. Use the same oil and ghee. Fry 500 grams of finely sliced onions till light brown. Keep frying on medium flame. Drain the fried onions and set aside. In the same oil, add the marinated chicken pieces Add 200 grams of finely chopped tomatoes. Cover and cook till the meat is tender and done. Take a heavy bottom vessel. Add an inch thick layer of rice. Layer on top with chicken. Repeat the same process. Top with cashew nuts raisins and remaining brown onions, mint leaves and coriander leaves. Pour half teaspoon kevra water and half teaspoon rose water. Pour the saffron milk. Cover with a tight lid. Weigh with a heavy object and set over your smallest flame for 25 to 30 minutes for them. It was really flavor packed dish with aromatic spices tender meat and fragrant basmati rice. So Param, what are we going to do here? And I know there's something happening. Here. Okay, the season's been bad, so we haven't planted much, but this is safe, I hope. Okay. This is a mango ginger. Nice. Maganji. Okay. Uh, and we use it for pickling, so we grow it on our farm. Oh, lovely. Bit, bit it's seasonal, so now it's time to harvest. If you notice, this is mango ginger. If you look there, that's galangal. Oh. Galangal is uh, now it's not yet in season. Mm. So once everything comes up, it's ready to harvest. It's going to dry up and die okay. and fall over. So this is the season. This is the season to harvest. Mm. So we're going to harvest mango ginger today. Oh, lovely. This is Dara, he's going to, he's the manager, he's going to teach us how to do this, yeah? Okay. This means it's ready. So, this is quite a bit we've harvested just from this area, if you look. Oh. Each plant has got so much. Oh. So, you can see the earthworms, yeah? Oh. Healthy soil condition, if you don't have this, the soil is depleted. Smell it, is it? Mm. You can see mango and yeah, ginger. ginger. Yeah, ginger. So apart from the homemade pickles, Aisha also makes some lovely dips. So I requested Aisha to show us some of her amazing dips. So Aisha, tell me what you're going to do today. Yeah, so today I thought I'd do some of the dips that we make when our farm stay guests come in, especially as a group, and if they're having like a mini party. So basically it is uh, mixing my pickles with uncurd and cream. Okay. Uh, and that you can have with chips or with vegetable sticks. Okay. Both these options are. So these are favorites. basically your pickles, right? Yes, you they are, are pickles which we we've removed anything hard and we've ground it. We've okay. put it, run it through the mixing. Okay. Okay. So. So I see something. Yeah. So this. 
a different texture yes. here. So this is hung curd. You can also use cream cheese. Okay. Um, but hung curd is a much cheaper alternative and, and healthier you, as yes, well. It's healthier and almost the same taste. Okay. So all you do is you take curd and put it into a muslin cloth, hang it, and let the water drip. Okay. And those people say that it's about a half an hour. Uh, the longer it drips, the better because the you need to remove all the water. Mm. So that's the only thing. All right. So once you're done, this is the texture it will be, and then you mix it with cream. Oh. To this, you would add approximately double the quantity of cream. Okay. Again, it's a bit of a hit and miss. You you keep doing it until you get the right taste. If I don't want to add this cream. Is it okay if I can just uh, use only hung curd and just this? Will it, will it taste good? What will happen is it will become too sour. Because the pickles are sour, most of the pickles, and then and you also have, have the hung curd which is sour. Okay. So the cream is required to, or you can add milk as an option. Okay. But again, this tastes better. Taste, okay. Tastes better. And better. also the consistency. Consistency is better. So what's the shell out for these dips? The dips, uh, if you've extracted all the water from the curd, okay. it lasts for about 14 days in the fridge. Cannot be left out uh, okay. at all. Okay. So this is the one that actually started it because I had a customer coming in asking me uh, and she mentioned that she was using it as a dip. What is This it? is my mango avoca pickle. The mustard and mango flavour really goes well with hunkered and thing. Okay. Tasting Aisha's sour lime dip and the green chilli dip was delicious experience, each one bringing its own unique flavour to the table. There you have it, your party snack. And that, my friends, concludes our exploration of the lazy grasshopper farm. Aisha, Param and Arman are truly the heart of this homely farm. If you love animals, dogs and cats, then this is the right place for you all. Because they add an extra layer of joy. Homemade pickle production holds not just flavours, but Aisha's warmth and love. It was lovely to watch Arman and Param cook up some delicious food. Biryani, mac and cheese and the Kerala roast chicken were truly delicious. This is truly a place to relax and rejuvenate. A place to unwind away from the hustle and bustle of the city life. Visit the lazy grasshopper farm and experience the peaceful beauty for yourself. The links are given in the description box. Until next journey, take care. Bye-bye.